is what mine is. Uh, this will apply to anything basically that has um, wrap straps um, and a structured waist. If you have an unstructured waist, it'll be a little different. Um, you'll want to do like an apron style um, instead. But what we're going to do is actually, I like to put the carrier on with the baby um, instead of the carrier first. So I'm going to center it on the back and then bring the straps up underneath his arms like this. And this is what's called a, a Santa toss. Um, so you'll notice that it's kind of supporting his weight. And I want to take my hand and take his butt over my shoulder. While he's still up on that shoulder, I'll actually take this side, uh, this strap, and put it on the other side of my head. And then kind of get him centered on my back. And right now I'm just going to leave him up this high. And I want to pin these between my legs so that I know he's nice and secure back there. He's not going to go anywhere um, while I get the bottom part done. Uh, and what I want to make sure here is that both of his legs, both of his legs are on the outside of the carrier, not stuck in or all to one side. And then I'll bring it around and either tie or put however your carrier works. Um, I like to be nice and high, so that means that I like to put my bottom right below my breast so that he is higher up on my back. Um, and the next part is really going to depend how your child looks to be in the carrier. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Wipe off. Sorry. <laughs> Um, mine likes to be on the end in this kind of carrier. Come here, buddy. You okay? Okay. Need a hug? Okay. He likes to be arms in in this kind of carrier. Um, so what I'm going to do now is make sure that he's centered in. And kind of scoot him down in there a little bit. Um, but you'll notice his arms are still under the straps. So what I'm going to do is take this side, put it under between my, between my legs, and then put this one out, and then over his arm, and then put it between my legs, and put this one out. He let go of my hair, it's making it easier, right? Out, and then between my legs as well. And then double check that he's kind of centered in there. He likes to go to one side, so I'm sure he's like, but... Um, Start on my right side, just because I'm right handed. Um, so I'm going to take this, take this outside rail, and pull it behind the back. If you get a section like that, just kind of pop it up. Um, pull it nice and tight. You want to pull it out to the side. Um, and then you want to pull the bottom rail up as well. Actually, hold it out with this hand, or you can probably like over there. That'll actually keep and if you'll notice this will keep going up because this is only half of a wrap um, so you're not you don't have as much to work with if you want to like reinforce um, passes to the wrap so you need to make sure that it kind of stays up at the bottom top row tight bottom row tight and then hold it out Left over. I made this uh, long enough for my husband to wear it as well. Um, he's significantly taller than me. Um, <laughs> so, um, if this is all you have, you can just go ahead and tie it here. Or, what I like to do is what I discussed in the, the reinforced ruck video is to keep those passes tight. Um, you could actually go ahead and pass it under the shoulder on both sides. This is what's called.
everybody.